Hello guys, welcome to our channel. In this episode, we'll be answering one of the questions most medical coders are asking. Can AI replace medical coders? We'll find out right here, right now. I am the medical Landscape, the relentless march of technologies reshaping the way how we work and live. A prime example of this transformation is the increasing dominance of artificial intelligence and automation, sweeping across industries of with profound implications. No wonder AI tools such as ChatGPT or OpenAI, and there's a lot more, are very helpful, especially for people who rely heavily on their computers for their job, such as medical coders. No wonder how AI is reshaping our future and also the advancement of the technology itself help us redefine the success in the healthcare itself. The precision and efficiency that AI and automation bring to task revolutionizing sectors such as manufacturing, where robots collaborate seamlessly with human workers, enhancing both quality and efficiency. The healthcare industry, often seen as traditional, is embracing AI in open arms. From diagnostic algorithms that rival human expertise to personalized treatment plans driven by data, patient care is undergoing a radical transformation. In the revenue side of healthcare, AI also helps when it comes to the denial management and also when it comes to payment. Fraud and abuse detection can also be seen by these AI tools as well, and risk assessments are all being redefined. So are you saying that medical coders will be replaced by AI soon? Let's find out. Medical coding is one of the aspects in the healthcare industry, all right, which is booming right now. And most of the new medical coders entering to this field are asking this question. Can AI replace medical coders? We all know why accurate medical coding is crucial for hospitals and insurance companies. In today's evolving technological landscape, artificial intelligence and automation are emerging as powerful forces that are reshaping the industries and revolutionizing the way we work and live. In today's medical coding, AI is being used by most of the companies, even in the payer side itself, because it speeds up the coding process itself the routine coding services can easily be done with ease. Automation involves the use of technology to perform tasks without human intervention. It offers several advantages, including increased efficiency and speed, reduced human error, and improved consistency. Moreover, automation can operate around the clock, contributing to 24-7 operations without the use of constant human oversight. So meaning to say, if I am working or required to work for eight hours a day, an AI can do more than that. Most of the companies nowadays uses AI to speed up their process. Automation involves the use of technology to perform tasks without human interventions. It offers several advantages, such as, of course, speeding up the process, increased efficiency, reduce human error, and improve consistency. In industries such as manufacturing, automation has led to faster production times and the quantity of product as well being made. In administrative tasks, automation can handle repetitive and rule-based processes, freeing up human workers to focus on more complex and creative tasks. Moreover, automation can operate more than a human can. For example, I can only work for eight hours a day, or let's say my boss tells me to do an overtime for an additional few hours, but AI or computer can do it for 24 seven. So would that be enough for AI to be qualified as replacement for medical coders? So here are some disadvantages of AI replacing medical coders. Number one, lack of contextual understanding. AI algorithms may struggle understand the nuanced context of medical documentation. Medical documentation are being done, of course, by the providers and sometimes by the transcribers. Second is ambiguity and unstructured data. Medical records can contain ambiguous or unstructured information that may be difficult for AI systems to understand, wherein a human can easily understand 
For example, a nurse coder like me can be able to understand what the doctors are writing in the documentation. Variations in the handwriting, dictation errors, abbreviations, and non-standard language can lead to incorrect coding practice of these AI tools. Third is evolving medical guidelines. Code sets such as ICD-10-CM, CPT, and HCPCS code constantly updates once a year. Medical coding guidelines are subject to frequent updates and changes. AI systems might not always be promptly updated to reflect the latest coding rules, leading to potential coding errors. Fourth is complex clinical decisions. We all know that documentations provided by the doctors in the healthcare of the patient often involves making medical coding decisions based on clinical judgments, patient history, and treatment plans. AI lacks the capacity to do that because again, they're robots while we are humans. We have this what we call human connection or human touch. AI lacks the capacity for intuitive clinical decision-making skills and might not accurately capture the rationality behind certain coding choices. So again, in the healthcare itself where we take care of the patients, all right, even Medical coders, all right, are of course a part of that healthcare process itself because, again, some medical coders are responsible for sending authorization, all right, for the pharmacy, all right, uh, whenever the doctor orders some prescription drugs itself. If AI will do that, of course, there's no clinical judgment that will be done. Maybe the Maybe the AI will be sending a drug that's not supposed to be given to the patient. We're in a human connection or can be able to correct that. The next one is bias and fairness. AI systems can inherit biases present in the training data, potentially leading to disparities in coding outcomes. So maybe the AI software will always detect the higher reimbursement itself. So it will be beneficial for the company itself to say that, oh, I'm earning more with AI tools. I'm earning more with automated coding. This bias could impact the patient care and contribute to healthcare disparities if not carefully addressed. In summary, while AI offers huge advantage over human medical coders, again, those disadvantages I've mentioned earlier should be addressed, okay? So at least there's going to be balance between the use of these AI tools versus human intervention. So my opinion regarding to this question is more about collaboration between this AI tools and of course the software developers and also the human intervention as well. The number one thing we should think of is the quality of the patient care itself, all right? And regardless of who is faster and who will be uh, or which type of coder, these hospitals or payers will be earning more money, the number one priority should be the quality of patient healthcare. Routine coding can easily be done by this AI, but complex medical coding cases should be done by a human coder, right? Until maybe in the next couple of decades, that AI can be fully integrated even to this complex medical cases. So here are some of the comments that I'm seeing when it comes to the battle between AI and medical coders. But don't worry guys, I'll be providing more information about this in the future. This topic gave you proper understanding about the role of AI in this medical coding field. Again, that's going to be it for today, guys. Always remember, without knowledge, there is no power. And always remember, human touch is better than a robot touch. I am the Medical Coding Guy. 